Hey friends, welcome back to Epcot. Today is opening day and it's also the first day of food and wine. I am so excited. Let's go do this. Taste of Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2020. And I'm just so excited to be back here. I got super excited when I heard the Epcot loop music actually when I was walking in. No food and wine passports this year though. And it's nice to see this area open up in front. Last time I was here, as soon as you walked in, there was a wall right here. So this is my first time seeing all of this open area right here. And it's so beautiful. Do you hear that? Oh. Regardless of the current temperature, which is around 95 degrees, I decided to wear my Epcot Spirit jersey. Only because I love it so much. And it's all black, so I know I'm gonna be very hot today. But I don't know, I just had to, had to put it on. I had to put it on, I had to get the feels. I had to just represent Epcot. So excited to see Spaceship Earth up and running. As you know, before the current state we are in, this was actually supposed to close for a massive refurbishment. I think I'm gonna head into World Showcase and check out the food and wine options first, only because I wanna know what it's like queuing up at those food and wine stands because that was always an issue in the past and I wonder what it's like now with the restrictions. Might be a little difficult. I figured the attractions, they're fine. You can wait inside and everything like that, but I don't wanna wait 30 minutes to get a bite of something to eat. So we're gonna check that out first. From a distance, I was like, ooh, look at that. Food and wine booth already in Future World, but not so much coming this fall. Look at this. The park has been open for a half an hour. Not too many people are heading to World Showcase yet. I wouldn't say it's like absolutely shocking. There's been plenty of times that I've been here at World Showcase and it looked like this. It's just right now, it just seems strange because this is opening day of Food and Wine and opening day of Epcot. There's a lot of people probably at Hollywood Studios today. I feel like most of the people that are here today couldn't get into Hollywood Studios. Not only can you enjoy food and wine, but you can enjoy some of the classics from Flower and Garden since it was cut short, and also buy some Flower and Garden merchandise. Most of the queue for Frozen is actually outside because you do know that inside the queue is actually a very tiny queue. So they're kind of holding people back here and then letting them in in groups at that point right there, just so that they can actually practice the social distancing in there. Thank you. Like I said, even though it looks bad, it's only a 30 minute wait. Maybe less. It all depends on what it's like inside that housing unit for the queue. Coughing and sneezing. Usually, the China stand for food and wine is one of the more popular ones, and there's absolutely nobody in line. That may be because there's obviously nothing on the menu. They have two food dishes and then they also will drinks. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Oh, do you hear that sound right now, the music? That's pretty much a good indicator that there's gonna be some character, actual interactions happening. Oh, and you can also tell by the CM in the light blue shirt. And look, here comes Goofy. Goofy at World Showcase, I love it. And Pluto, wow. That's really nifty, isn't it? Oh, wow, that is awesome. Look at this car! Wow! Look at that, the man himself! Here is another booth that's not open yet. Like I said, the food and wine is actually not 100% fully running. It's just like kind of maybe 50 or 20% and they're actually ready for it to actually open up. Look at the plexiglass on the cash stands. They're ready, they're just getting set up. And if I didn't say so before, there's Josh, Walt Disney World couple, and he's actually telling me that if you wanna find all of the food and wine festival boots that are open, since they don't have a passport, you can do it on the app. Look at that, it gives you the full menu too. Pretty fancy. 
taking a look at the Germany menu, it is very similar to Flower and Garden and last year's Food and Wine. Actually, not much has changed at all, which kind of makes me sad. I wanted to try something new today. I'm on the hunt though. But regardless, it is just awesome to be in World Showcase. I mean, look at that behind me. This is awesome. This is usually one of the most crowded areas. And actually during the day, you don't see that that often like this. Obviously because of the current situation we are in. But I really was expecting a lot more people to be honest. I thought it was going to be a little bit hectic. But this is like, I'm practicing social distancing and not even trying. One thing I definitely need to check. Did they update the banners in the little town here for the Curtin Food and Wine Festival? I think that's the most important question of the day. And let's take a look, see down there. Bless my heart, I think they did. Getting a chance to roam around the Italy Pavilion. It's very beautiful. You can hear the music, you can't hear people talking in the background. It's just beautiful. With this very hot, hot summer day, something that definitely would be recommended is probably to bring an umbrella as you stroll around World Showcase. It keeps you covered and protected and uh, it's probably just a very smart thing to do. Like these folks right here. Oh, you guys getting anything good? Just excited to be back at Epcot. Yeah. It's so, it's so spacious. There's so much elbow room here. Yeah. I'm loving it. Yeah, it just huh? reminds me of Epcot 15 years ago. That's crazy. Yeah, you would know. <laughs> One thing I think I'm going to try is the shaved ice in the Japan Pavilion because I need to cool off. For $5.79, you really can't go wrong. They've got tangerine, melon, blue raspberry, strawberry, rainbow, and cherry. There it is. Look at that. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? Holy moly. This is absolutely delicious. And I highly recommend if you get it with the sweet milk. Because then it turns it into like any creamsicle flavor. Blue raspberry creamsicle melon creamsicle it is so delicious and refreshing though and for five dollars like i said you cannot go wrong they give you so much and it melts so quick but so delicious this isn't even a food and wine item this is here you're wrong and it's the first thing that i actually got how funny is that and coming up on our first relaxation station of the day i haven't seen any other ones so far and this one is a beautiful location Look at that right there. What a beautiful sight. This is definitely an important thing to check out. Most crowded establishment probably in all of the parks, wouldn't you say? I would say so. You trying to get in? Oh, yeah. Oh. All right. And look at those markings right there. Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> Like you've seen in there, you greet the doorman and he assigns you a number. So that means that they're going to probably queue up all the way down here. And now it is time to head into World Showplace. This is where it's at, folks. I'm excited to be here. This is probably the biggest thing from Food & Wine this year. Oh, yes. A little bit dark in here, but oh, man. Oh. Oh, do you know what this reminds me of? The media event. The media event? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it in here. As you can tell, we have plenty of indoor boots here with AC. Desserts and champagne, apple seed orchard, mac and cheese stand, and of course, the festival favorites. Where to begin? I don't know. And you can just see a little bit from every festival. The kibasi and potato pierogi, that was from the festival of the holidays. Then we also have food and wine and flower and garden, and plus some of your favorite drinks, including the Bailey's milkshake. That's amazing. And then the desserts and champagne, the frozen s'mores, and the liquid nitro chocolate cake pops. 
so many good ones. They have Twix and M&M. Those were fantastic. I'm so happy they added this to the actual festival this year. I ended up getting the cider mimosa and the banana cider, which I'm kind of very excited about. They have two IPAs in here, but I couldn't pass on trying a banana cider. Oh, look at here they come too. This one is the cider mimosa, and then that is the banana blitz. Wow, I'm excited. Josh and Jackie went with some mac and cheese. Obviously, if you guys know me, I'm not having that in my life right now because I don't like cheese. So, you want to check out their channels to get the good cheese information because mm -hmm. you're not going to get it from me. You can get the good cheese info. I'm super enthused. There you go. <laughs> Josh went all in on the banana one. Like you said, he saved himself 50 cents, but I got to say, I'm not a cider guy and this is fantastic. Who would have thought banana cider? I should have gotten banana oh, cider. Oh, so good. And I'm gonna try the mimosa cider. I don't have a good feeling about this only because Josh told me he's had it and he is a cider connoisseur. So, <laughs> I would believe what he says. I'm gonna try it. Okay, bye-bye. See ya. Oh, Josh is right. Throw that in the trash. Ugh. And it's really awesome that you can come in here, get something to eat or drink, grab a table. There are plenty of tables open. There's a lot of people in here, but you can come in, take your mask off, and just enjoy snacks in the AC. And it's actually very beautiful with jazz music. Makes me want to dance. And I'm super excited. We left the uh, World Show place and we're gonna head on over because I wanna ride Soren now. But remember earlier I said I wanted to come straight to World Showcase because I was afraid it would get busier later on. It definitely got busier. Like there's not a clear pathway actually right now. It's not overcrowded, but it's not empty pathways like we were able to see. Far from empty pathways. Look at all this. And there's actually people lining up inside the different festival booths. And this is where I want it to be. My first ride back at Epcot. It has to be Soren. Just has to be. 40 minute wait for wow. living with the land. That is the longest wait I have seen since I've been back in the parks. Oh wow, there she is. I've missed you. <laughs> I've missed you, Soren. <laughs> actually, they have two different standby lines. You can actually come down this side and come down this side and then get sorted. Fast Pass is still an option, but they are splitting the standby lines because they don't want a whole bunch of people corralling down in that main area there. Oh, look at this. Look at the separators here. And we're in my favorite role, B1. Oh, man. Just to hear that sound again. Hello. Hello. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll begin boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Next. Ah, thank you. In the middle? Oh, look at how perfect this is. And you see the separators by groups? Oh, I'm going right here. You're going all the way down? No, you said She said in the middle. Yeah, because they have it by groups, you see? So this is one group right here, another group, and another group. So you're socially distanced. I really do like how they're not actually packing them full of people. Like every single one of them. Now they probably should space out the sections, but I'm happy that we're in the middle because it's like the perfect center spot. But all the other ones are kind of like that too. So we're in the tower. We are ready for takeoff. Oh boy.
and I really considered this to be an issue before, but inside the Land Pavilion, it's always been very, very crowded because this is probably the most famous quick service here at Epcot, and it kind of stays true to that fact. It's hard to socially distance over here. I do know that uh, they are doing the mobile ordering, but still though, there's a lot of people in here in a small, tight space. And when we came back around, living with the land is basically a walk-on. Look at all of those plastic barriers. Oh, well, that's kind of very pretty. I would like to do a photo in here. Time. Oh, back row. Time for a relaxing ride on living with the land. Please lower your head and help to create the rich soil that would one day become home. Look at the little prairie dogs. To produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more and into the future. Oh, look at that. Welcome back. We missed you. That is awesome. Welcome back, we missed you. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity. Look at that hidden Mickey right there. One day, many of these so lesser known though. tropical plants <laughs> may be as a vegetable tree. Look at how By far those pumpkins have grown. I, I remember seeing them before actually uh, everything crops, shut down and they were actually they little look. tiny pumpkins. In fact, Unless I'm like just thinking that in my head, but I'm pretty sure they weren't that big. The land every year. That was actually really relaxing. Living with the land is a very relaxing and peaceful ride, and it cools you down. Now, it didn't do much of cooling down, but it did do something. Yeah, it did something. It's like, it, it's a feeling of coolingness. Yeah. Once you get in the greenhouse, though. Yeah, when you Ooh, get out in the sun, it. yeah, it kind of hits you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and look at Joy on the hill. That is really adorable actually, isn't it? That is just so nifty, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And since we're over here, we might as well journey into imagination with Figment. And we're taking the red carpet to imagination. The AC is on point in the imagination pavilion. I gotta tell you that. Welcome down. Thank you. Welcome, welcome to our special drive-through open house. I'm Dr. Nigel Channing, chairman of the Imagination Institute. Can't let your fans know your mind sees more than what your eyes see. Your sense of sight can make your fancy fly. There's more to sight than you see eye. Coming up on my favorite part of the ride, right here. What's the best when it's set free? You said it, Doc. Imagination is a blast. And I kind of already predicted this, but inside Imagine Works, the what if labs are completely shut down. I mean, you can't use any of this stuff. And actually, this doesn't make any sense because you don't touch any of that. It's all done with your hands, but mostly everything else is something that you had to touch with your hands. So they just shut it down. No Wreck It Ralph. The characters are outside on the lawn. You know, safe ways of doing things. And look at that! Yeah. Pooh's out! Hi Pooh! Hi. Nate's got his Pooh mask on because you're his favorite. He looks just like you! Oh! Like now, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm going to come back to Mouse Gears to see if we can get in without having a line and uh, maybe get a look at some of the food and wine merchandise if it's not already gone. And that's why you wait. Absolutely no line now. Pretty fantastic. Well, actually, there aren't any food and wine merchandise available yet. They said maybe in August. I guess people were just here to get some of the cool flower and garden stuff. But I did find this shirt right here, and I love it. So I decided I think I'm going to buy it. 
Well, not only did I get that nifty shirt, but I also bought something unexpected. I don't think I can show you what my unexpected buy is right now because I'd have to basically open it up and remove all the packaging. But maybe I'll show you when I get home at the end of the vlog. It's pretty nifty. Nothing I've ever bought before. And before I go on my way out, came back to ride our spaceship Earth. And that's why I waited to the end. Nobody in line. Oh, I could smell Rome burning from here. <laughs> hey! One. Perfect. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> they are actually giving out your own carts. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. picture with the face mask on. Nope, no pictures. Oh, that's sad. Wow, look how empty it is in here and quiet. No pictures on the globe. None of the fancy futuristic activities. It's a strange world we're living in in the future world here. <laughs> and I think that's it. Oh, soaring music. Uh, I think I'm done here today. I'm walking out with a bunch of goodies and I had a great time. I'm just so happy to be back in Epcot, to be back in Disney World. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> oh, and I will show you these once I get home. Now I am back home, and here is what I purchased. The Disney Parks Designer Collection, but I seen these. Look at this, they come in such a fancy, fancy, fancy little robe, and they were in Epcot, and I was like, I gotta get them. Look at that. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway Ears. Nothing can stop us now. Wow, I love these. I'm gonna definitely put these on display somewhere in my apartment.